the tip pays off, you'll get the I'm rest. How glad you been. Of course not. Oh, you know how I feel about you, right? Jesus Christ! Are you out of your fucking mind? Fuck, 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 fuck! Hey, did you get on the right fucking side of the road? I'm trying! Right! Certain elements in Washington are pushing for a military intervention into Mexico, and much of the public is behind them on this. But the Mexican government claims that such an action would be tantamount to a declaration of war. So the president is between a rock and a hard place here. He doesn't want war with Mexico. But then again, seven federal agents are dead, and that simply can't stand. That's why this should be an FBI investigation. The DEA has compromised itself enough already. FBI? We've been investigating the Mendoza cartel for over a year oh, now. Oh, yeah, that's worked out well. Enough! This interagency bullshit has got to stop. That's why I brought in Assistant Deputy Director Shane Dixon. She created this task force and she'll be running it. Miss Dixon? Agent Stone was investigating the sale of military weaponry to the Mendoza cartel in Juarez. Why the hell wouldn't you tell us that? Water under the bridge, Agent Guerra. The Mendozas are a new player in Juarez. Not much is known about their leader, Juan Mendoza, but the scope of their operation is growing exponentially. Drugs, guns, gambling, prostitution. We've never seen a new cartel grab power so quickly. Which is why we think they may have infiltrated one or more of our federal law enforcement agency. That bombing was no accident. They knew exactly where and when to strike. And that's why neither the DEA nor the FBI are running this operation. We have a totally autonomous team. Miss Dix and I have another meeting to get to. From this moment on, it's all up to you. Don't fuck it up. Let me introduce everyone. Special Agent Eddie Guerra joined the DEA soon after completing his tour of duty in Operation Desert Storm. He holds the record for the single largest drug seizure in Southern California history. He's also the only DEA agent involved in the investigation who managed to survive the bombing. FBI Special Agent Kimberly Evans, the youngest agent ever to win the FBI Medal for Meritorious Achievement. She single-handedly apprehended a serial killer who had murdered 32 women and in the process saved the life of his last victim. I brought her into the task force because of her ties to Los Angeles criminal gangs connected to the cartel. So you're in charge overall, but who's in charge on the street? Detective Benjamin McCall. He's with LAPD's Robbery Homicide Division. 
a 30-year veteran. He is a two-time winner of the Medal of Valor. A homicide detective? With all due respect, ma'am, isn't this a little out of his jurisdiction? Not at all. Stone's daughter Jessica contacted Detective McCall the day after the bombing and told him her father had been threatened just the day before. Which means we actually have a suspect and a witness. The suspect is Antonio Alvarez. Why'd she take that to the LAPD? Why not come to us? That's why. That's right, Agent Guerra. They all served together in Vietnam. McCall knows them both. So two became cops, and one became a crook. Worse than that, he's an asshole. Agent Evans, Agent Guerra, I'd like you to meet Detective McCall. You'll have whatever you need as far as resources. But in terms of manpower, you're on your own. No backup from federal agencies. We don't know who we can trust, so you'll only report to me. I'm going to hit the Mendoza cartel as hard as humanly possible. Find and arrest those responsible for that bombing, and protect the witness, because without her, we don't have anything. What if we find out the cartel has someone inside the FBI? Or the DEA? Well, then the hardliners will have a reason to send the military into Mexico, and let's pray that's not the case. Because if that happens, a lot of innocent people are going to get hurt. We need to let the public know that any foreign asshat who comes after us in our own country will get lit up like a goddamn Christmas tree. Say goodbye to him. Please. We can't take the risk, Mija. It's too dangerous. What do you remember from your father's conversation with Alvarez? They were arguing. I, he was yelling about some $50 million deal. As soon as they saw me, they went silent. And then Alvarez started threatening him. Was he intimidating or bribing him? Either or. Gold or lead. Oro o la chingada. What case was Stone working on exactly? The cartel is buying military-grade weaponry. Grenade launchers, anti-tank rockets, night vision goggles. Stone was trying to find their supplier. For 50 mil, they can buy a fucking Abrams tank. Alvarez is probably the middleman. So you have no idea who the supplier is? Nope. Then the deal's probably already done, darling. Maybe not. Aranya recently flooded the city with a shitload of new product, eh? Aranya? They moving out of East L.A.? Up and out, chica. They distribute for the cartel. Maybe Mendoza's trying to make a little extra cash for that big weapons buy. I hear they're even selling their shit to the rolling 50s. Well, if that's true, then maybe what we need to do is throw a wrench into the operation and fuck things up. If the major players get pissed enough, they might show themselves. <laughs> Hell, we might even find the pendejo who planted that goddamn bomb. You okay, Jess? Please, just let me say goodbye to him. Stone was in the LAPD before he joined the Bureau. He had a lot of friends. I want to be Enough. there. Enough! What, where are you taking me? Somewhere safe. Are, are you staying with me? You'll have protection. We need to go poke a stick in a spider's nest. And I think I know just how. Do tell. The enemy of my enemy is my carnal. Do you think this interagency task force has the resources to make a difference? Absolutely. The president is determined to stop the spread of drug-related violence. The Mexican government has promised full cooperation. Weapons are in the trunk. Take what you want and get in the car. Beautiful day for a drive, huh?
Weapons loaded. Ready to go. Then get in the car. city more often, man. Look at these mountains. You ever see so many trees? The perfect place to hide a marijuana plantation. Sequoia National Park. How come you DEA boys didn't tell the Bureau about this? Afraid to share the glory? Nah, afraid you'd screw it up. And your boss isn't gonna be pissed when we burn his case? They won't be blaming us for burning this shit down. Nah, they'll be blaming it on you. At least that's the plan. So we torch the Bato Locos pot fields and leave some tags that point to Aranya. You really believe the Vatos will go after Aranya? If someone burned up a couple of million that belonged to you, wouldn't you want some payback? They'll buy it. All right, easy, easy. We're close now. It's here, on the right. You sure you know the way? Look, I saw the satellite photos, man. This is the way to the first field. All right, looks like we have our way in. the rest of the way. There they are. Guess my CIs don't suck after all. Can we do this without firing any shots? Hey! Who the fuck? Gino, wake up! These motherfuckers are going call, down! Call Ahead! Looks like you got this. These pendejos are starting to piss me off. What do we do with them? Leave them. They're not going anywhere. Uh, is it far? To the top. You should be able to see the first field from this hill. Mm. We got a little bit of a hike. You sure you can make it, Detective? Yo, Evans, you might have to carry his ass. Let's go, jackass. Ocean of weed in a goddamn national forest. Holy shit. I told you. That's a lot of damn weed. Think we can burn it all? We just need to burn enough to piss those vatos off. See those tents? Seems like that's where they store what they've already harvested. If we torch two of them, you'll be able to see that smoke for miles. The fire lookout at Bald Mountain will call in the smoke jumpers. The Forest Service will take care of the rest. Let's go! Who the fuck are you, Ese? Chinga tu madre! Shoot him! Oh! Oh! Watch out! Ahead! Peace up for us! Nice shot, Holmes. And I saw a pale horse, and he who sits upon it, and his name is Death. And he has a bullet with your fucking name you on it. You see anybody else, man? Dead. Ahead. Time to 
take him out. Cut around, right, Kaboon. I will make mine arrows drunk with blood, and my sword shall devour flesh. And I will bathe in the blood of my motherfucking enemies. Let's torch these tents. Gera, don't fucking inhale it. Uh, he's already baked. Jesus. Let's just spray the tags and get the hell out of here. Anya was here, bitches. Let's get back to the car before somebody sees us. Where is that second field? Not far. We take that out and whatever else we can find. Maybe they have a helipad. I would if I was them. Easy in, easy out. Where the hell are we going? Over by the river. It's not far. From there, we have another little hike into the woods. Chilling a little early this year. Yeah, let's get out of here before they get the munchies. Quick! Get in! Come on! We aren't surprising these Vatos. I'm guessing they heard the gunfire. Yeah, unless they're deaf. You hear that? Looks like they know we're here. Should we head into the woods? Stick to the plan. There they are! You sure that's them? Who the hell else would be driving like that? Just keep moving! This is 
us as far as we can go with the car. From here, we'll have to hike to the riverbank. Can you hear that? They're looking for us. Move, move! Get under the bridge! Can you see it? No. We have to hike down the riverbed. Fantastic. Hey, over there! We got company! Ahead! You ready? We wasted them all. Quiet now. We're getting close. And? I don't know, Holmes. He don't answer. Call again. Who oh, fuck. Here they come! Didn't think they'd ever stop fucking coming. Drunk with blood. 
and my sword shall devour flesh. And I will bathe in the blood of my mother fucking Don't enemies. Don't fuck with you, check it. Ahead! Shit, do you ever practice with that piece? those tags. Let's go! McCall. Detective, it's about Agent Guerra. I'm listening. DEA Internal Affairs is investigating him. What a surprise. He's suspected of pocketing drugs that have been seized in bus and putting the product back out on the street. Apparently, he has a gambling problem. So? So, we also believe he may have some connection to the bombing of that DEA building. But no proof. That's right. We need hard evidence. So keep an eye on him. Just know he can't be trusted. You'll be hearing from Agent Baresi of DEA Internal Affairs. You learn anything, you let him know. Don't let him out of here! Time to 180 70s, asshole. And I saw a pale horse, and he who sits upon it, and his name is Death. And he has a bullet with your fucking you know, you don't name have to on it. Do this all by yourself. All right, check it. It's time to go. These pendejos are starting to piss me off. Don't fuck with you, check it. We done here. Hey, 
over there! We got company! I did not come to bring peace, but a motherfucking sword. Looks like you got this. Jesus Christ! I saw that. Just doing my job. Damn, you see that? Evans! Shit, someone's up ahead. Oh, you are dead now, Gumbo. That's one way to make an entrance. Hey, you don't miss too much, eh? And I saw a pale horse, and he who sits upon it, and his name is Death. And he has a bullet with your fucking name on it. There's the house. Keep it down. Careful. Ahead! Hey. I did not come to bring peace, but a motherfucking sword.
These bitches are done. Shoot! Take them down! You're dead, you hear me? Dead! I'm thinking there's some vodka. You wait for my signal. before the cops show up. Come on! Aranya pissed a lot of vatos off today, huh? So you're sure they'll blame this on Aranya? Hell yeah. These boys aren't rocket scientists. Once they see that spider, there'll be some payback. Now we need to piss off one of Aranya's partners in crime. Someone they deal with on a daily basis. Ooh, he's talking about your family, Agent Evans. Look, those assholes are not my family. The rolling 50s deal drugs for Aranya. Isn't that your baby brother's crew? He won't tell us anything. He doesn't want anything to do with me. What a surprise. There must be something you can tell us about their operation. I mean, hell, didn't you grow up there? Well, there is a stash house they deal out of, or at least they used to. Orale, that's perfect. I mean, what if Aranya were to rip him off, huh? Take back the drugs they already sold him? That would piss him off pretty bad, right? I just... What? I don't want Dion to get hurt. We can watch out for baby bro. No problem. <laughs> 